We've been writing since March, and we've got 11 songs together now, and we're just going to keep writing until we go in the studio, which is going to be at the end of November. So uh, we've still got another like seven weeks or something like that of writing time. So um, we're just going to keep going. The last couple of songs that we've written, for me so far, my favorite ones as compared to stuff we wrote like back in March or April. So uh, I know with uh, some ideas that I have and that Charlie has, we probably have another good three songs left to write. So um, I'm, I'm betting that some of the newer stuff will end up on the record to sound crude, we fired them. But uh, just to get things straight, because now nah, really we get a lot of people coming up to me asking me, they still don't know. People don't know like what happened. Is he in the band? Is he out of the band? Did Anthrax break up? People ask me if I left the band. I mean, it's like nobody knows. So um, basically what it was was that we just knew that it wasn't going to work anymore. And it was something that had been coming for a long time. I mean, I remember as far back as 88, we were touring with Ozzy in the States. And that's the first time the four of us ever actually even talked about it, but back then it seemed like such a taboo thing to even bring up, being that, well, what if we do it and we can't find anyone for two years? You know, it was just, it was too much of a decision to make at the time, and there was too much riding on, you know, our careers at the time, so. But then over those next three years, three and a half years, it was just like a constant building thing where I think Joey's involvement in the band became less and less, and us wanting Joey's involvement in the band also became less and less. And until finally, it was on the Clash of the Titans tour back last summer, I think, is when we finally really made the decision to say that, you know, when all this touring is done for this record and Killer Bees and whatever, that's it. You know, we got to make this change. I mean, the four of us decided this, and we told our management, and, you know, their basic thing to us was, well, who are you going to get? You know, who do you want? And the first thing Charlie said was, John Bush, we want John Bush. And, you know, so it was after the tour in January, we toured Europe in January with Public Enemy and we came home from that and it was pretty much right after that is when we told him he was out. And uh, people think it was a personal decision, you know, but uh, personality problems would have nothing to do with it if we were happy, you know, creatively with what was going on. And it was not like there wasn't even a person personality problem within the band. It was just a case of where, you know, Joey really wasn't into what we were doing. and. It was kind of like, here I am writing all the lyrics and handing over all these lyrics to this guy, you know, to sing on our records. And you could just really tell in the performances. I mean, everyone thinks that his best album with us was his first album, which was Spreading the Disease. And it just kind of got worse and worse from there because it just seemed like he didn't care, you know, to do it. And he was just kind of going along for the ride. John Bush was the lead singer in Armored Saint. And it was a big decision for him to make. I mean, he was in Armored Saint as long as I've been in Anthrax, you know, since 81. And, um, it's a big thing, you know, to walk away from. But I think, you know, knowing that he's going to get to finally express himself now, you know, with Anthrax to a much, much, you know, on a much larger scale, you know, it, it's, it's great for him now. You know, he's finally going to get out there and show people what he can do. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.